welcome to craft with us so today we're gonna be making solar system in a jar so what you're gonna need is a mason jar any size will do I'm using a little one but you can use a bigger one like this really it's up to you you're gonna need some air dry clay or there are recipes to make your own air dry clay and I'll demonstrate that in a minute you're going to need little dowels or toothpicks to make holes. And you're going to need a pen and some just scrap paper. Hi all! So unfortunately my photos of when I made the air dry clay at home didn't work out too well. So I'm just going to put the instructions up on the screen and my apologies. Um, so you mix cornstarch and lotion in a 2 to 1 ratio. You don't need a lot, so I just used 6 teaspoons cornstarch and 3 teaspoons lotion. And then you just mix it in and knead it until it's moldable and it holds its shape. And then you use it just like air dry clay. Um, I did notice that it, with this recipe it was pretty fragile once it dried, so it might not be the best for this project. But you can find tons of other recipes online. You just google homemade air dry clay. So what you're gonna do to start is you're gonna want to make sure that any planets you make are gonna actually fit in your jar. So you're just gonna draw out about how big your jar is. So you're just gonna put your jar on a piece of paper and then trace around it. And then you can make sure that your planets are actually gonna fit. Okay, so I've got some clay in this container. Would be a good idea to do this in a container just so that you contain the mess a little bit. This clay also says to keep your hands wet, so I have some water and some paper towel on hand. So you're probably gonna wanna start with the sun. This whole project won't take much clay. Um, so you're just gonna roll it in your hand to make as much of a sphere as you can. Hey, so working with the clay was a little tricky. It was a balancing act between keeping your hands wet enough that it doesn't that the clay doesn't stick to them, but not so wet that the clay will- that you can't get a grip on it. For the planet sizing, I just printed out a sizing picture off the internet and used that. So I did the smaller planets first, so I did Mercury and Mars, they're about half the size as Earth. Venus is the same size as Earth, and then Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter. I had to get a little creative with the sizing because it wasn't going to all fit in my jar. Once I had the planets all shaped and laid out so I knew they would fit, I put them on dowels to dry. Um, you can use dowels or toothpicks, just something to hold them up so that they don't dry with a flat spot on them. And also to make sure there's a hole in there for you to put the string through later. Hi everyone, so after you've let your clay dry 24 to 48 hours, then you can paint it.
once you've let your paint dry, then you're going to take the, your planets off the dowels and hang them in the jar. So first you're going to cut a bit of string. It won't take much, because the jar I'm using is fairly short. And you're going to need some hot glue. So this is this might be a job for a parent. So just using a needle might be helpful too. So you're just going to take your planets carefully off the dowels. And then just thread the needle through like this so that your planet now has string. And you're just going to tie a couple knots to try and make sure it doesn't go through, to try and stop the string from going all the way through. So I am just going to dab that, oops, just a pitch of hot glue oh, that was more than I meant to and then just pull that through Dang it. so you're just gonna tie A knot just to make sure it's going to be secure at the bottom. And then you can put a little bit of hot glue on there just to try and make sure it sticks. And then don't pull too hard or you'll pull it through. Then you let that dry and you just repeat that process until all of your planets are on strings. Once you've let your hot glue harden a little bit, so now the string is secure, you're gonna hot glue the string to the lid to hang so that they hang in your jar when you put the lid on. So the easiest way to do this is to use one of the dowels to kind of decide where you want it to hang. So if I want it to hang about halfway, then this is the part of the string that I need to hot glue onto my lid. So because it's the sun, obviously it goes relatively in the center. And I hot glue this in the center. Ish. You don't want to get your fingers too close to the hot glue though, so ask a parent's help. And then you just repeat that process with the rest of your planets till they're all attached to the jar. So you'll want to do this in the right order. So after the sun, from the closest to the sun outwards, it's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune.
So here's a couple pictures of the finished solar system in a jar. Don't forget to join us Friday at 2 p.m. on Facebook for the live. This week we're making pipe cleaner constellations. Thanks for watching!